Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this uh, scalene triangle ABC as you can see in this figure and we have our side lengths in terms of these given polynomials in terms of Y variable and now we are going to calculate the angle X as you can see over here. And one more thing, just keep in your mind that this y variable is greater than zero. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. In order to calculate the angle x, we must find the value of these side lengths first. So in order to calculate these side lengths, we are going to pick the appropriate value of this y. And we know that y must be bigger than zero. So I pick the simple value of y that is y equal to one. Let's go ahead and plug in this y equal to one value in this side two y plus three. And here I have copied down 2y plus 3. Wherever you see y, I'm going to replace it by 1. So this becomes 2 times 1 plus 3. That is 2 plus 3 equal to 5. So thus our side AB turns out to be 5 units. Now let's plug it in this y equal to 1 value in this polynomial on this side. And here I have copied down y square plus 2y. Once again, we are going to replace y equal to 1 value. So this become 1 square plus 2 times 1. So that is going to give us 1 plus 2 equal to 3. So therefore, our this side turns out to be 3 units. And finally, let's focus on this side y square plus 3y plus 3. And here I have just copied it down over here. Let's go ahead and replace y equal to 1 value over here. So this become 1 square plus 3 times 1 plus 3. So this become 1 plus 3 plus 3 equal to 7 value. So therefore our this side turns out to be seven units. Now you might be wondering what if we pick a value other than one, what would happen? The answer is very simple. No matter what value of y we pick, the angle x is going to be same in every case. And to justify my answer, I will give you another example with a different value of y. So we finally figured out our side lengths as 5, 3, and 7. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and call this uh, side length BC that is opposite to this vertex A. I'm going to call this one lowercase a. And I'm going to label this side AC as lowercase a b since this is opposite to this vertex b and this side length a b i'm going to call lowercase c and now in order to calculate this angle x we are going to use law of cosines and here are our law of cosines and we are going to use this first one a square equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc cosine of alpha. In our case, alpha is simply x. And here's our law of cosine that we'll be using. And let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. In our case, a is 7, as you can see, b is 3, and c is 5 in our case. So let's go ahead and get started. So we got 7 square equal to 3 square plus 5 square minus 2 times b is 3, c is 5, cosine of x. So let's go ahead and simplify that thing. That's going to give us 49 equal to 9 plus 25 minus 30 cosine of x. 
So 49 equal to 34 minus 30 cosine of x. Let's move this 34 on the other side. 49 minus 34 equal to negative 30 cosine of x. So we got over here 15 equal to negative 30 cosine of x. Let's divide both sides by negative 30 to isolate cosine of x. So we got cosine of x equal to, and this reduces to simply negative 1 over 2. So we can write x equal to cosine inverse of negative 1 over 2. Now we know that cosine inverse of negative 1 over 2 is 120 degrees. If we use a calculator, as you can see over here, so therefore our this x value turns out to be simply 120. 20 degrees so that means our this angle turns out to be 120 degrees so thus our angle x turns out to be 120 degrees and that's our final answer and now let me give you another example and this time I have picked y equals to value 2 and to save the time I have already worked out this problem and you can see I have put this time y equals to 2 value and you can see that our these side lengths of this triangle turns out to be this one 7, 8 and 13 as you can see and here once again I have used this law of cosine a square equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc cosine of x where our a value is 13, b is 8 and c is 7 and I worked it out and our cosine of x turns out to be negative 1 over 2. So x could be written as cosine inverse of negative 1 over 2 and once again if we use a calculator x turns out to be exactly same value once again which is 120 degrees. So thus we conclude no matter what value of y we pick our angle is going to stay same that is 120 degrees. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.